Hello. It's been a while, hasn't it? Today I resumed working on the track bed that I started in my last video. You know, the massive bit that all the sidings are going to go on. I did a very basic test to determine the rigidity of the board after I've put all this strengthening battening underneath it. And that test was to put a brick under each corner and wobble it with my foot. The width section was fine, that's quite stiff, but the length, it flexes a lot. So I decided the best way to support the board along the wall was to use a long length of timber. I've cut five small sections of timber and screwed those to the wall and the long plank that's going to be supporting the board, that is screwed to those small sections. So there's a gap there for the rain to go down. Um, I'm not going to end up with it all soaking up the water because that wouldn't be a good thing. But I've now arrived at the point where I've got to weigh it up. Is it better for me to put the felt on and then the legs on or is it better to put the legs on, take them off again and then do the felt afterwards? And I'm leaning towards cutting the legs to size, trying them on, then doing the felt, which could take longer, but it means I'm less likely to muck it up, I think. Oh, and I need to go to Wilkinson's and buy some 55 millimeter screws. Well, that's the thing put together. It needs a bit of tweaking, but it's shaping up about the way I wanted it to. You can probably tell by this and the footage you just saw that it's getting kind of dark out here. Even if I can do more things, I can't film them. But the work will continue. It looks like I've got quite a long night ahead of me because I couldn't find any 55 millimeter screws. I bought 50 millimeter screws and 60 millimeter screws, which means I'm probably going to spend my evening cutting five millimeters off one and trying to put it back on the other. I've got the sun in my eyes. Oh, that's better. I could have done that from the start, but you might think I was saluting you. <laughs> 